Hi, me again with one of my top 10 lists. This time we're looking at bizarre beauty products. Before I go into the top 10, please smash that subscribe button and make sure you subscribe to this channel for lots more content that comes at you every single day. And don't forget at the end of the video to leave a comment for me. Maybe you've tried some of these uh, beauty treatments and can say something about them. Maybe you've considered trying them and have now changed your mind. Maybe you're inspired to try some of these beauty treatments after seeing this video. Let me know in the comments box. Anyway, straight in at number 10 and that's human collagen injections. Collagen injections are used to smooth out frown lines, crow's feet wrinkles and smile lines, as well as to give the appearance of full lips. Like Botox, this procedure is quite common, but where the main ingredient comes from is just bizarre. There are two main sources of collagen, a protein responsible for skin strength and elasticity, bovine, which is cow, and human. About 300 people experience an allergic reaction to bovine-derived collagen, which has prompted manufacturers to source collagen from aborted fetuses, placentas, and donated corpses as the probability of an allergic reaction is virtually non-existent. Possibly the most morally outraged source of collagen is the rumoured rumored harvesting of collagen from executed prisoners in China, taken without the consent of the prisoner or their family and exported to the UK for socialites to inject into their faces. In at number 9 we've got Botox injections. While the Botox procedure to prevent frown lines and wrinkles may sound fairly familiar and commonplace, if you think about what you have injected into your skin, it really is bizarre. Think about it. Botulinum toxin, Bo plus tox equals Botox. It is one of the most poisonous naturally occurring substances on the planet and the single most toxic protein. Eating food contaminated with Clostridium botulinum can lead to serious food poisoning. The fatality rate is around 5-10% to 10 if there's a toxin present. One microgram, which is one one millionth of a gram, is lethal to humans. The amount used in cosmetic procedures are consequently, and thankfully, very, very small. Oh yeah, in at number eight, we've got snake venom cream. Why? Why? See, the neurotoxins produced by members of the cobra family of snakes, and some vipers and rattlesnakes, act on prey by blocking the nerve impulses in the muscles and inducing paralysis. Now realising that snake venom could produce a similar effect to that of Botox, the beauty industry has come up with a synthetic form of snake venom that is applied to the face as a cream rather than injected. It's meant to be safer and less invasive. The venom that was used to create the version comes from snake farms in Brazil. Well wait for it, you're going to love this, you really are. Thousands of snakes are milked for their venom because out there somewhere there are people who go to work every day and milk snakes so that people can put the venom on their faces. What a lovely world we live in. We're getting up to number seven and it's getting weirder by the increments. It is getting weird because at number seven we've got placenta wrinkle cream. Now according to the manufacturers of this, placenta wrinkle cream derived from the bovine placentas can slow down the appearance of visible signs of aging by moisturising skin and combating wrinkles. Some companies also use plant placenta. Yes, flowering plants do have placentas and even they even use human placentas. Claims were first made in the 1940s when the idea was marketed that the nutrient-rich placenta gave off the benefits of hormones and stimulated cell growth. Since the FDI hey, quickly decided that this constituted a medical claim, say this became illegal in the United States. The manufacturers but then changed these claims to say that the proteins present in the placenta moisturise your skin and your hair. Help me, help me, I can't do this, I can't do number six, but I'm going to. Number six is all semen hair treatment. How dedicated are you to your smooth shiny hair? Because if you're serious enough, there is an option, at least here in the UK, to go to the hairdresser and have them massage bull semen into your scalp. Now, the reason behind this idea is that because your hair is made of protein, although it's essentially dead, uh, because some proteins can help form a protective layer around the hair, 
Some people thought it would be a good idea to market protein treatment as a way of keeping your hair healthy. The supposedly ultimate source of concentrated protein, you guessed it, it's bull semen. Fellow people, fellow watchers, fellow travellers on this journey of... Ugh, we're now at number five and we're talking bird poo. You see, there's an old Japanese beauty secret that's made its way over to the West and it's called, and forgive my Japanese pronunciation on this, Ngurisu no Furi, or sterilised nightingale poo. An enzyme called guanine, which is also, you would love to know, added to various makeup products for its pearly sheen, is found in nightingale poo and apparently does a good job of bleaching and exfoliating the skin. Kabuki actors and geishas have been using Yusu no Furi for hundreds of years to remove the makeup and to keep their skin soft. The joy of be- uh, spreading bird poo on your face doesn't come as cheap as a jar of ole though. Oh no 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 no. And if you'd rather have someone else do the smearing, you can go to the Shizuka Day Spa. And after you've spent quite a lot of money, your face will be smooth and soft and also smeared in bird poo. Yay! You know you want to know. <laughs> You know you want to know what's going to be at number four because this list has been weird and it gets it continues to be weird at number four with the fish pedicure you see if you're willing to you can let a school of small fish nibble the dead skin cells off your toes the idea you see is that you put your feet into a tank containing a species of carp called ironically the doctor fish and wait 15 or to 30 minutes while they feast on your calluses. The fish are toothless so it's meant to be a safe procedure and it can only suck off pieces of dead flaking skin. How lovely is that? Well I hope none of you are going to gonna eat or are about to eat uh, while you're watching this video because uh, yeah um, that's probably put you off of your food. In Turkey where the treatment quote unquote treatment on that originated the fish live in natural hot springs and are a popular skincare option for the people who bathe there. We're into top three territory now, so we're getting to top three weirdness and bizarreness. And leeches, they're there at number three. Yes, letting blood sucking parasites attach their slimy bodies to you as a detox. Sounds like a very questionable idea. However, leech therapy, or to give it its proper sounding name, which will make it seem legit, which is Harudra therapy, has been protracted practice since 1020 AD and it's been used for treating skin disease and helping patients recover from surgery. In the present day, leeches also be used in the treatment of varicose veins, reducing blood coagulation and helping to stimulate blood circulation in reattached organs that require critical blood flow. If you're more adventurous, yet can follow in the footsteps of celebrities such as Demi Moore, go to Austria and have your blood feasted on by the medicinal species of leech. Yay! Off to Austria for us then. Not. I did say earlier that I hope you weren't about to eat or hadn't just eaten and I really really mean that because at number two we have the pig's foot diet. Now thankfully you don't smear pig feet on your face or comb your hair with a pig's trotter but you do eat it and they've been marketed as an edible way to combat wrinkles. You see the feet of a pig contain a high amount of collagen which, as we know, is used in anti-wrinkle creams and lip lip injections. So a person might as well eat them to gain similar benefits. But though collagen is one of the major proteins involved in maintaining skin and muscle tone, I can tell you that consuming a meal of pig feet is almost certainly a less effective method of keeping the scapel away than just doing the obvious things like maintaining a healthy diet, working out and staying out of the sun. Easy. Da da! We've reached number one, and what a bizarre journey it's been, all to get us to snail slime cream at number one. Yeah, you see, snails can heal and regenerate their shells using the slime they secrete. So the beauty industry is now using the slime of the common garden snail, Helix aspersa, in beauty products. There's a myriad of claims for its efficiency, ranging from getting rid of acne to improving smash marks and uh, dealing with scarring. The snail secretion 
which is also used by the snail to reduce friction as it moves, seems to have both antibacterial qualities in addition to antioxidant qualities. So the theory is, if it works for the snail, well, why not just put it on your face? Yay! Well, I, I, I can't take any more. I'm glad we're at number one. I really am. I hope you've enjoyed that list. As I said at the beginning, the beginning of the video, beginning even, uh, please leave some comments. Let me know what you thought of this uh, video and let me know what, uh, what beauty treatments you think are the most bizarre. What did you think of the list? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon and you take care. Bye now.